name is Charity Bruce. I'm a summer intern in the communications department. And I thank you all for coming in, coming to the ribbon cutting of the reopening of the Hanging Moss Road Bridge. We are very excited about this project. And today we have Mayor Tony T. Arbor to tell us more. Right, thank you. Thank you, Charity, and thank you, everybody. I think it's a real good time for us to celebrate this bridge reopening by clapping our hands, yeah. particularly for those of you who have had to take alternate routes uh, to get to the places that you call church, home, or work. Uh, I think that uh, most of you are the ones who I see with the biggest smiles on your faces right now. Uh, now who, who is that? What did I hear? All right. Don't, don't, don't be so far back. Come on up here. We need all of that energy. Listen, uh, uh, this is a great opportunity. I want to uh, just take a few minutes, if I could, to make sure that we recognize uh, all of the people who are here who have uh, been a part of not only making this physical uh, bridge possible, but also uh, those of you who have been making sure that you're on top of the accountability component of that. The community members, uh, those of you who have been making sure that uh, you're keeping us on target in terms of timelines and uh, promises of schedules that we've made to you, whether you are uh, a member of the Civil Tech team or whether you're uh, the amazing team that actually did the work and pulled all of this together, or if you're a part of the program management team there with IMS, all of the folks who are here and uh, who have been making this work and making it possible, just want to thank you, uh, our uh, Department of Public Works, who've been working extremely hard and uh, doing it in a lot of cases uh, short-staffed and in some cases dealing with me being short-tempered. Uh, but nevertheless, we want to say thank you all. We appreciate it uh, so much. There he is again, uh, UCI, who's been um, actually moving the dirt around, and we just want to say thank you for that. Uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> I see the uh, looks like the councilman is approaching, and so we'll uh, make sure that we recognize the councilman when he uh, gets up. Uh, this is uh, one of the many 1% sales tax projects uh, that you're beginning to see all around the city. Uh, progress around this city is uh, something that we're going to have to understand. It involves all kinds of infrastructure issues that we're dealing with. This bridge is one of those. Whether we're talking about bridges, whether we're talking about drainage situations, whether we're talking about streets, roads, or whether we're simply having conversations about how do we ensure that our water lines are stable to bring quality water from our plants into our homes and into our businesses. Uh, this is one of those, and we're proud uh, to be able to say that your 1% dollars is definitely at work. This is a collaboration. Uh, as we continue to see this kind of work go on, we want to be sure that everyone knows that it's not uh, just uh, the work of one group. It's not just the work of one person. It's not just the work of one entity. But it's a collaboration of work. And you'll be able to see that collaboration in just a minute uh, as we bring up a uh, commission member, uh, Dr. Beverly Hogan, who is no uh, stranger to this community, whose uh, work is uh, seen not only at Tougaloo College, but also seen on this commission that was able to help give approval to this project. So if you would help me welcome uh, Dr. Beverly Hogan to the mic. Thank you. thank you and good morning. Thank you, Mayor Yarbrough, and thank all of you for being here with us this morning. And yes, I'm lending my smile to this long-awaited completion of this project because not only as serving as Tougaloo College, many of our employees travel this way, including its president, who lives in the Ward 2 district. So this is an exciting day for us to be here and to look at look what's being done and look forward to the things that are coming. As a member of the 1% Sales Tax Commission, we have the responsibility of working to look at the projects before us, determining the revenue, how the revenue will be directed, and prioritizing that. And I know that for oftentimes it seems like a slow process, but when you have an elephant in the room as large as the infrastructure needs for our city, the best way to approach it is one bite at a time, get going and keep biting until it's over. And that's what I think the city is beginning to do. So we're pleased with this reopening of the Hanging Moss Bridge this morning. We're excited about the things to come. And I would be remiss to, not to say that Charity Bruce is a rising senior at the historic Tougaloo <laughs> College. And we're, we're excited to be a part of this because through the 1% uh, sales tax, as along with the 
um, Tiger Grant funds to Blue College will be able to finally complete the West County Line Road project, connecting West County Line Road and East County Line Road. And we will no longer sit on the road to nowhere Definitely. and we'll be able to realize economic development for that community out there and lift the face of the community so that Tougaloo College can continue to contribute in meaningful ways. But I want to congratulate all of you who come out this morning, all of you who have been persistent and holding all of us accountable for making sure that we keep the project on target. And let's all of us come together and look forward to the great things that are going to come as we continue to build a more livable and sustainable Jackson for all of its citizens. Thank you. Uh, I, I, I don't have to do this because he's very capable, but I, but I do want to make sure that um, as I bring up your councilman from War II that the folks in War II know uh, that if nobody was attentive to this project and its completion, your councilman was. So if you would help me welcome your War II councilman. Uh, Councilman Priestley. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm going to be brief because I can't wait to drive over this thing. That <laughs> I live right over there, and it was a pain to have to drive around over. So for the last time, I'm glad not to make that diversion anymore. I just want to say thank you to a number of people here. I want to thank the mayor for his diligence in making sure this project reached completion. I want to thank President Hogan and the members of the 1% Sales Tax Commission for making sure that when this bridge went out in October of last year, we had the funds and we were ready to go to get this done. I want to thank our police officers and our firemen. Now, we have a fire station just around the corner from here, and I know that they have been particularly impacted by not having this path to go on, and we've made their jobs more difficult for both the police and the firemen. I want to say thank you guys for what you do every day that even when we make your job difficult y'all don't complain too much and <laughs> you get the work done so i just want to say thank you for your your diligence during this difficult time and i want to thank the people of jackson that this was made possible because you made the decision to have a sacrifice you made the decision to vote to increase your taxes when you think about all the things that are going on right now when people talk about the fight against taxes, y'all chose to raise your taxes so when we had situations like this bridge going out, we would have the resources not to have to beg the state or beg the federal government, but to take care of this problem ourselves. So I want to thank the people of Jackson. I want to thank you for your patience. I want to thank you for your vision for making this happen. And I also want to thank all the neighborhood leaders here today that I see the president of Woodhaven and Woodley are here. Uh, and so the neighborhoods around here also, thank you for your patience. All right, and let's drive over this. <laughs> Norwood, sorry. <laughs> All right, so good morning. Uh, I'm Jerry Smash, uh, representing the Public Works Department. And uh, just want to have a few remarks, and I will be brief. Uh, we definitely have uh, a very impressive team uh, that has come together on this project but also to put together the number of projects that we have in the city. Uh, so kind of echoing Councilman Priester's comments as well as the mayor, uh, we're very thankful to have the opportunity to uh, undertake these projects because we actually have the resources to do them. So the 1% sales tax uh, has been essential uh, to getting these projects rolling. There are a number of them, which is why it's taken some time to uh, actually put them together. But uh, as you can see, we're well underway now, and I think this it's a very important opportunity to celebrate not only the team that has done this, but also the city of Jackson itself for, again, uh, working together. And this will continue to be a collaboration, uh, so we appreciate all the support. Uh, this time, we want to uh, ask uh, for comments from the presidents of uh, Norwood, um, Woodhaven and Woodley, if you would just come and have remarks, and then we'll get underway with our ribbon cutting in whatever order you like. Since he mentioned three, I am Frances Greer Morris, president of Woodley Homeowners Association, which is right down the street, where we are the witness to what over 200 homeowners and the city of Jackson. Today, we are excited. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to know we are excited. Woodley, raise your hand. 
We are excited. This is not only a time saving, but it's safer to us to drive. That's most important. And we want you to know there are incidents that have occurred on this bridge that you may not even know about. Lives have lost, but we want you to know everything is safe for all the persons who are traveling even from Madison, downtown Jackson to work, from Woodley, Woodhaven, and all the other districts, areas. So the Homeowners Association say thank you to the administrative staff of the city of Jackson, to all those who put their hands here and labored here in doing the design and works for this great structure. We thank you. We are now prepared for the 21st century and thereafter. We are now ready to move forward because we are happy. We have gotten so many, we know that, don't say complaints, <laughs> inquiries, <laughs> not complaints, inquiries. Miss Morris, what are they doing about the bridge? I said, I'll check with them today. Let me call Ashley or let me call Kanita, let me call someone and check on it. And of course, uh, Councilman Priester kept us informed at all of our meetings and update. But we are here to say thank you, Councilman Priester. Thank you, Mayor Yarber. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you for all who are here who contribute. The engineer, he said to me, he did it all. <laughs> so, uh, now, right, I said thank you. <laughs> Thank you to the engineers and all those who contribute. We want the mayor to know we are happy, we are appreciative, and we love you all. Thank you, love you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm Bill Hughes, president of Norwood Homeowners Association, and just as the other presidents, you can see the smiles on our faces, huh? This is a main thoroughfare. And for us in Norwood, uh, it's particularly pleasing because part of the unofficial detour came through our neighborhood. Yes. Uh, that was the best detour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we got it. You guys didn't get it. We got uh, it. And uh, we, we would certainly love to, to, to thank, we'd like to thank everyone involved in this, our city officials, particularly our, our, our mayor and our council president. Now you guys have to know that, uh, as previously mentioned, he, he comes to our meeting and when he comes to our meetings, we inundate him. <laughs> We inundate him. We give him plenty of information to go back to you guys so that you can know what's going on out here. And I want to commend him and the mayor for listening with all of the things that the community has out here because we're Jackson. Mm -hmm. huh? We're Jackson mm -hmm. and, 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 and not, not anybody else. And no one is going to take care of us but us. That's right. And we have to do that ourselves. So, uh, again, we, we, we thank the, the city officials for this. Uh, we're going to enjoy taking this trip. Uh, I come up and down this street three or four times a day, and now I can come up and down this street looking forward to crossing this brand new bridge, yeah. huh? Amen. This brand new bridge as a result of all of the things that our city officials have done. So I want to say to, uh, to our city officials once again, thank you for all you do, and uh, you know, as the world say, uh, we got your back. Time to cut the ribbon. Cut one, two, and three. Yeah! yeah.